Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Damien in another episode of Beginner's Java. So let's talk about if statements. If statements are an interesting sort of uh, programming logic where something is either going to be equal to true and or false. Uh, you'll notice that I used and and or there, which are interesting, uh, as they are representable in our if statements. So there are three ways to do this. Uh, one of them is known as the tenery operator, which we will, I might introduce it in a later lesson. Uh, it's basically a way of saving one line of code by making your code harder to read. Uh, I don't think that decreasing your line of code count is that important. So therefore I will probably never use it in an actual lesson. You can be aware that it exists, just don't waste your time using it because most people don't like them and don't know how to read them. Uh, there's an if statement, which is just like that, you use the two letters if. Uh, and lastly there is a type of variable called boolean. And so we'll go over if and boolean in this lesson. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a number and we're going to say int num1 is equal to 4. And then we're going to make a quick if statement. And we're going to say if, and now we're going to say num1 equal, uh, let's do less than or equals 5. So that means that if number 1 is less than or equal to 5, we'll do a system dot out dot println num1 is less than 5. Uh, less than, let's do is 5 or less, just to save me some typing. And then we'll do else, and then we'll do system.out.println num1 is greater than 5. And so we can easily change this to be uh, an input.nextint if we want, uh, and put a system.out.println above it. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time. Uh, so we see num1 is 5 or less, which makes sense because that's a 4. So that means that this statement, num1 is less than or equal to 5, evaluated to being true. Now I want to show you guys something. Note that I said that it evaluated to being true. So, let me show you. We're going to make a boolean variable called less than 5. And this is a variable just like all of our other variables. The, num the name less than 5 is just a name. I can name this anything. I can name this, uh, I don't know, work out more often. You know, I can name that anything. So less than 5 is just a name. Okay, so now when I'm in here, because it's less than 5, I can set less than 5 equal to true. I could actually set that to true anywhere. I could set that to true in here in the else statement. It just wouldn't make much sense for me to name it that. Then down here I can say if less than 5, and then we'll do a system.out.println Oh my god. And so I'm going to run this again. And you'll notice it says num1 is 5 or less, and then it prints out omg. So that means that when this statement inside of the if evaluates to true, you can do something. And in the event that it does not evaluate to true, you can do something else. So if we change this to 6, and give it a run again, we just simply get num1 is greater than 5. So now let's let's add in a third statement here. Get rid of that uh, boolean. We, we're not going to really touch on that again for a few lessons. Uh, and get rid of that line of code as well. <coughs> now we're going to add in an else if. And we're going to say num1 is greater than 5 and num1 is 
less than or equal to 8. So this time we'll do system.out.println and say rar. I hate that number. You know, just as a little something. So now, once again, since our number is 6, that falls in between 5 and 8, and we spat out rar. I hate that number. So in this case, what this and and mean, or ampersand ampersand, for those of you who know the name of that symbol. Uh, it's shift 7 for those that don't. Uh, that means and. and. There's one other statement that we can get into where we can make things sort of easy uh, and that's the or statement which is two vertical lines like that. So uh, we can change things. So we can say if num1 equals equals 6 or num1 equals equals 7, or num1 equals equals 8. Now there, there are way easier ways that we could have checked that range. I just wanted to show you guys that this is one way that you could use the or poorly. Uh, the or statement can be used to check a lot of different things though. Um, I think I'm actually going to leave it there. This is a decent enough primer for if statements. We're going to get into how to use them in our next lesson. So I hope that you guys will join me. My name is Damien. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. If anything didn't compile, please hit me in the head. <laughs> have a good evening, everyone, and happy holidays. It's uh, December 23rd right now.